No, we're not filming yet. Oh, sure, whatever. Yeah, let's film and just break so you in a little bit. So I'm going to be going like this we won't film you. you guys going. <laughs> we won't film you with the kale, but me. <laughs> but you got it on your chin. <laughs> so, you need to shave. these are the famous kale chips at the kitchen that I have nicknamed the worst date food possible because it's impossible to eat these. They attach to your teeth and your face pretty much everywhere but where you're trying to get them to go. Linda's running away from the camera because she's probably killed her phone. Oh, this is Ready? All right, I'm honored to uh, be here with Linda Tucker, who, uh, how do you describe yourself? An activist or? I'm a conservationist. Conservationist. You know, I'm, I'm actually showing a model uh, of living for the future, how humans can live harmoniously with animals, um, the most regarded as apex predators, the most dangerous animals on earth. And it's, it's possible to live in nature uh, and where everyone benefits. So that sounds like a nice, happy, statement that everyone would agree with, but the fact is that the so-called charismatic animals like elephants and rhinos and um, tigers and lions, all the, all the animals you know as a child from children's books are all going extinct in the wild, is that correct? That's correct, because humans always put themselves first and they don't put anything back into nature. But if, if there is a natural contract with nature, which there should be, mm. whereby you know we put back as much as we take, we've got the solution to restoring our, our planet. So you focus particularly with lions. How, how did that come about? That's, that's a big story. I was rescued from a pride of lions one dark night in Africa. And a pride is a group of lions? A group, yeah. And there were actually 24 lions in wow. that pride, including five dominant males. Uh -huh. um, I was rescued by an indigenous medicine woman who walked through the lions, calmed them, and came to my rescue. And she was actually carrying a baby on her back, you know, wow. as a symbol of her faith, because she told me afterwards that there are only two laws that, that apply in nature. The first is love, and the second is respect. Okay, we have, we're actually having lunch at the world famous kitchen right now. Pardon me. Can I roast veggie and chicken? We're just receiving our lunch. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Quinoa Yeah, you can grab whatever's here. I'm quinoa boy. You want to keep that away over here? No, 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 no. Over here is great. Salmon sauce? Yeah. Salmon over there. It looks fantastic. Thank you. Beautiful. We'll cut this out because we don't want people to see me eating all of everyone's food. Great. <laughs> Thanks, man. And we need one more uh, set of napkin. Uh... Do you have a knife and fork? Okay, that too. All right, so pardon the interruption, the delicious interruption. So you were saying, you were rescued by this, um, she's like a shamanic She was a mama. medicine woman, yeah. Okay. She was um, a, a medicine woman who people would, would go to for healing. She knew uh, herbs and, and, and medicinal plants. And, um, but she knew the way of the lion. It's, it's a tradition in Africa that is passed down through an ancient priesthood. And she said it's simple, you know, only two laws, love and respect. And if you follow those two laws in nature, you will always be protected. That's why she put her grandchild on her back, strapped the grandchild to her as she walked through these very angry lions. So basically what she was saying is that if you treat the lions or any um, animals or nature generally with love and respect they'll treat you the same way exactly and that's what we humans have forgotten uh -huh. so I guess my second question is you know they're going extinct does that matter I mean obviously we always say oh yeah of course it matters but the fact is a lot of people out there and the way we're acting as a society is well it's inevitable they're gonna go extinct oh well so why does it matter that we preserve lions and other animals Nature is our survival, and each animal in nature plays a pivotal part. The apex predator, it's, it's like a pyramid, with the apex predator as the tip of the pyramid. So when you're an ecologist, you look at an ecosystem and see the health of the, of the ecosystem is determined by the apex predator. If there are no predators, of course, the prey base is, uh, it becomes out of balance, it depletes the whole um, habitat. 
and the whole thing collapses. That's the chain of, that's the food chain. But so, wouldn't, wouldn't someone who probably is wrong say, um, we're now the predator, so we don't need other predators. We're destroying all of wildlife generally, so we don't really need lions. Well, and that would be insane, wouldn't it? Because that, so. is, that is um, unique in the natural system, an animal that destroys yeah. their habitat. I mean, it's so logical. You destroy your habitat, you destroy yourself, and that's what humans are doing with that's nature. Beautiful. So third, and probably the key question is for those who do love lions beyond just seeing them occasionally in a zoo, um, for those of us who want to live in a world where there are lions in the wild, what can we do to help right now, those who are watching this video? What you can do to help is go onto our website, whitelions.org. You can come as a volunteer to our project. You can donate. You can sign the petition to have the white lions protected by law. At the present time, they're not protected by law in South Africa or wow. internationally. They are not only hunted to the verge of extinction in their natural habitat, which is one place only on Earth, they're being removed from that habitat, sent to zoos and circuses around the globe, and that wow. includes the states. Siegfried and Roy and all the other places that are holding white lions have taken them from this sacred, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sacred site where they occurred. And there's something worse going on, worse than, than um, trophy that? hunting in the wild. That is that they're being taken from the wild, put into cages, bred, hand reared and shot in cages. It's called, it's a malpractice known as canned lion hunting, lions in a can. Oh, for safari no, hunting no, or something? It, it, it's much worse than that. It's a wow. big industry where the babies are farmed out for people to handle. They get, you, you pay to handle a beautiful white lion cub. And then that same cub is put into a cage and shot as an adult. So the public doesn't realize that they're handling, they're handling these babies that are going to be shot by virtue of the fact that they've been manhandled by humans. Once lions are familiar with humans, they're regarded as dangerous animals and they cannot return to the wild. Because they're familiar with humans, they'll come up to you in the wild and they're regarded as a threat. Well, thank you so much. So, um, and I encourage people to check out the website. Linda has an amazing backstory model and ad executive who became a leading activist for Lions. So thank you so much. Thank it's you. an honor and a thank pleasure. You. It's been a yeah. pleasure to be here. Thank, thank you. you. Time for lunch. Thank uh you. -huh.